Have you ever gotten to a place where you're betting your entire net worth? Outside of Thursday? I emptied out my bank account so I could play high stakes poker. I need to make a withdrawal of 20,000. Yeah. Can I put you on hold for one second? Why would I do that? Because I love doing all the stupid <laughs> sh the most I've ever bought in for was $1,000 to what? five. What? Were, were you nervous? What was the game? The game is 10, 20, 40 with a $40 ante. It means that it's a minimum $100 pot every single hand, and it only goes up. The following video is the best. Oh, like, wow. And the worst. Casino King losing his mind. Moments of the night. Take it down, oh. King. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday on Hustler Casino Live. This is the four seat Casino King. He is a vlogger, I'm told. Sitting there, I have $10,000 in chips in front of me and 10,000 in my pocket. That's all the money I could possibly take out of my bank account without getting divorced 100% of the time. The first hand of the night, I have King nine offsuit in the big blind. We go to a flop four ways, which is seven, eight, nine. I hit top pair. Vertucci makes it $200 and I raise him up to 600. He easily makes the call because that wasn't that great of a raise. The turn is a seven pairing the board. Nick checks and I bet $800. He thinks about it and just makes the call. Rough start for Casino King. This is a rough hand for me because yes, I flopped top pair, but Nick flopped the second nut straight. I'm in a lot of trouble here. The river though is a miracle seven. Seven, 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 giving me a full house beating the straight. Nick checks and I bet out $2,000. He thinks about it for a while, gives a small speech. So, this is pretty funny. And then makes a pretty good fold. A few hands later, I have Jack 10 suited in the small blind. It folds to me and I bump it up to 130. Cowboy John decides to come along for the ride. The flop is seven ace deuce completely missing us. I check, Cowboy bets out $200. And instead of making the fold, I decide to go into GTO, which means my gut thought otherwise. I decide to raise like a madman. I make it 800. Cowboy immediately folds, and I'm 2-0 and on the night. No one can stop me. Casino right. King came to Check play. Raising, I like that. Check raising with Jack High. The next hand is one I will remember for the rest of my life. And when I mean the rest of my life, I mean until the moment I die. I got 9-3 suited in the big blind. One player makes it 140. Vertucci calls, and it's only $100 for me to see the flop. And they're suited, baby. The flop is a fantastic King Jack 5, all clubs. We smash the flop with a flush. I decide the very smart move here is to slow play this monster hand and check. The turn is a four of spades. Nick bets out $400 here, and I decide that I'm gonna hit him with a super smart play. A min click. I'm such a moron. Nick obviously calls and the river is a four of clubs. One of the worst cards in the deck. He checks and I decide, forget the bigger flush, forget the paired board, this is my pot. I bet 1300. Spoiler alert, he has the ace of clubs. He raises to $4,000 and I realize immediately how big of an idiot I am. I think about it for a second and make the fold. After that, I really started going on tilt. The voices in my head were going crazy. I'm such an idiot. I shouldn't even be here. Why do I even think I can play poker? Everybody's laughing at you that's watching on stream. Bad thoughts equal bad play, and I get down $4,000 super early. That's when I pick up Jack Knight of Clubs in the big blind. Cowboy makes it 140. Vertucci calls, and you know what? F these are suited. The flop is... Queen 7-4 with two clubs. Vertucci checks and I'd love a free card, so I check, but Cowboy has other plans. He bets out 200. Nick calls and I just need one club to turn my night around. One time, dealer. The turn is a king of hearts. Yuck. Luckily though, it checks around this time. I get one more free card and the river is the three of clubs. Let's go. I needed this so badly. And what I needed even worse, is Nick to try to take the pot. He bets out $1,500. I raise him to 4,000. He folds. I take it down, getting some of my chips back. I'm almost back to my starting stack when I get queen eight of clubs in the small blind. Israeli Ron makes it $200 and basically the entire table calls. The pot is already over $1,200 and the flop comes ace, deuce, 10 with two clubs. This is my bread and butter. Chase and flushes. I check since I'm the first to act. 
Cowboy bets out 400. Nick L makes the call. So I throw out $400 and see if we can catch this one. The turn is an eight of spades. Not what I wanted, but it does improve my hand a bit. I check Cowboy bets out $800. Nick calls and at this point I have a decision. Do I want to play smart and live to see another hand or are we going for the flush? If you know me, you know we're going for the flush. The river is an amazing six of clubs. I love clubs, I love flushes, and I hit another one. I check, Cowboy checks, and Nick bets out $2,400. Oh, Nick. I think for a second and then go all in for $8,400. He thinks for longer than I thought and folds. All of a sudden, I'm up five grand on the night. A few moments later, I wake up with ace, king, and early position. Great. I like chasing the flushes. I don't like playing good hands because that's when I get burned. I make it 140, and Wesley, who you all know, bumps it up to 800. Now, I don't like playing ace, king, but I really don't like playing it out of position, so there's no way I'm just calling here. I bump it up to 2400, and he snap goes all in for 5000. Just such a sick spot. Obviously, I'm probably not ahead here, but I can't fold. Call. I make the call. The flop in the window is an ace. Absolutely beautiful. The turn is a three and the river is a four. I win a monster pot, mainly because Wesley overplayed queen jack suited. Thanks, Wes. Now, most of you are going to watch this and say, man, you just got lucky and ran hot. And you'd be right. At least for the first part. In this next hand though, I have ace 10 under the gun and raised to 140. Rick calls in the small blind and we go heads up to a flop. The flop is 8, 4, 10 and Rick bets 200. I'm definitely good here, so I make the call and try to keep him in the hand. The turn though is a queen of spades. Now there are two flush draws and a completed straight draw, not to mention the queen. Sick. But Rick checks which eliminates the straight and the queen since he wouldn't want me to draw with either of those. I bet $400 and he calls. The river is a five of spades, not a card I wanted to see, but Rick bets the pot. The thing is, is he's not leading into me on the flop with a backdoor flush draw. He's not checking a straight. He's not checking a queen. I think I'm good here. Casino King's gonna snap him off, huh? Let's call Casino King. He shows King four and I win another $4,000 pot up to $13,000 on the night. As the game went on and the night got later, I started to think, I might actually do this. And then that got in my head, I don't want to lose. In this next hand, you definitely see that coming through in my play. I have ace jack under the gun and raised to 140. Rick calls and E-Fan makes it $800. Nick calls 800 and I make a mistake. I just gonna call. I definitely feel like I should have made it more expensive. We go four ways to a flop of six, eight, nine, and it checks around. The turn is a jack, and I bet $600 into a $3,200 pot. I don't know why he's betting $600 into $3,200. I have no idea where I came up with the sizing. Both Efan and Nick call. The river is a safe four, and it checks back to me where I go for value and bet $1,200. $1,200? Sizing is confusing. I actually get paid off by Efan and win a $7,000 pot. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what I should have done differently on the sizing. Could I have won some more money here? A little bit later, I have ace nine offsuit in the big blind. A bunch of players limp into the pot, so I go for the squeeze and make it 520. Efan has pocket sixes, but decides to just call. The flop is king 10 deuce, totally missing me, but the action checks around. The turn is a queen and I decide, I'm gonna take a stab at this. I bet $1,000, they both fold and I make another 1,700. Yeah, let's do it, anymore. king. Now that I got a bluff through, I have the aggressive bug flowing through my vein. I have 10-6 offsuit in the big blind versus Wesley. He makes it 130 and I call. The flop is three ace queen, not even close. I check and Wes makes it 110 to go. That's when I start getting some really bad thoughts. I reach into my bag of tricks and pull out a check raise to 440. Casino King losing his mind. Good for him. Wes almost immediately re-raises to 1500. Well, that was fun. If you raise me, I'll raise back. One of the last hands of the night, I have ace 10 suited on the button. Nick raises to $200. I decide to make it 600, a sign that I really didn't want to lose my entire stack. Wesley quickly picks up on that 
and bumps it up to 2,500. He's trying to go after the kid who might be uncomfortable with these stakes. Nick makes the call, and I really can't fold here, so I also call. King doesn't look that uncomfortable, does he? The flop is 10 jack 5. Ugh, mid pair. Wes checks, Nick checks, and I check. The turn is a six of spades. Wes checks though, and Nick bets out $4,000. Puts the king in a tough spot. It's a tough spot because there's no shot that Wesley has a jack here, so I'm definitely ahead of him. I also don't think Nick has a jack here after checking the flop. All in. Wow, passes the test like a champ. I go all in knowing he can't, ca oh, he calls. You wanna run it twice? Thanks, Nick. The first run out is a 10 on the river giving me trips, and the second run out is a nine of spades, giving him a straight flush. We split the pot and I end up keeping my stack. Was it a major mistake of me to run it twice or was it smart in that situation? At the end of the night, I'm up over $20,000, a dream come true. And now there's only one thing to do, celebrate. We all saw it on TikTok. What was the biggest mistake I made all night? I'm still thinking I shouldn't have ran that twice. Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Make sure you're subscribed so you see my next vlog where I go to the lodge and play on stream and try to take down a million dollar guaranteed tournament.